The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. Well then, Bunny Reader, specifically the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 Bunny. <laughs> Let's talk about books. You see, books are awesome. Thanks, Maxwell. They help you learn. Me learn. They also they do help you learn. They can also protect you. Like if you're getting mugged, you just throw a book at their face. But well, it won't help you, against the desert no, eagle. True. What, Maxwell? If a murderer comes to kill you, you just throw it at their nuts. <laughs> They're nuts. Yeah, because they, they love their peanuts. Their nuts. Yeah. So they break their nuts. Yep. I just want nuts. People always say, hey, Steve, put your pants back on or we'll call the police. <laughs> People also always say, hey, Write what you know. And what I mm -hmm. know is that I have been a loyal and only slightly dickish employee at my local bookstore for almost 17 years now. If my job were a person, I'd be working on padding my op college application by joining SAD. <laughs> the only reason 80% of high school kids join students against drunk driving. And as such... I really do have my sweaty fingers on the pulse of the book world, and I am here to rub my sweaty fingers on your unsuspecting face with this week's installment of Notes from the Bookstore. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. And this week on The Big Show, we are getting the format and throwing it away, <laughs> throwing it in recycling, because this week on The Big Show... We're going to answer a lot of questions and help a lot of people. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be answering unanswered questions posed by famous book titles. Okay. It's a lot of famous book titles out there that, that are questions or statements that, that we are going to finish. It's a public service, really. We're heroes, Bunny. We are handsome, humble heroes. So are, are, we, are we going to finish? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If what? footmen tire you, what of horses? Because I never got a clear answer to that one. That's a good point. No, that one's not on the list. Maybe we'll do another one, but with movie titles. <laughs> what, Maxwell? Uh, can you watch the movie home on Netflix? Can you watch what on what? Can you watch the movie home from on Netflix. Yes, you can watch the movie Home on Netflix. That movie is vaguely adorable. <laughs> so I so I am going to read the famous book title and then I will be answering it immediately afterwards. Okay. Okay, are we all clear on the format here? Yes. Okay, good. So let's do this. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. No, Margaret, God's not there. No one is there. All that is out there is a dark, empty void. No one is here for a reason, and there are no answers, but thank you for playing, and here's a copy of the home game. Next. <laughs> Do androids dream of electric sheep? Well, I think the real question here is, do iPhones dream of pretentious sheep? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going beyond the androids to the other types of devices. Mm -hmm. uh, are you my mother? Well, it all depends. Are you drunk and disappointed in me? Because <laughs> if you are, then definitely a maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see the white polar bears building a wall to keep the brown bears out. <laughs> So all these brown bears keep coming in and stealing our gerbs. And I heard mm -hmm. the terrorist bears are getting in through the brown bears. Yeah. So it's really about security. It's about security. We need to secure our borders. Mm -hmm. The fault in our stars. God, they have so many faults. Um, all of our stars are too focused on their looks and what Us Magazine says about them. 
Uh-huh. Our stars are getting too much plastic surgery. And if I could get specific for a moment, Johnny Depp is slowly going insane. And The Rock is too successful. He needs more bombs <laughs> in his movie career. He needs to be taken down a few pegs. Yeah. He's too successful. He's too successful. I was hoping that Baywatch would humble him. But no, he's just back on to his next super successful movie. He needs a few more bombs in his resume. Yes, Maxwell. Uh, are you spelling the movie home? H-O-M-E. By the time you get to H-N-O, you're either going to get some real dirty stuff or you should find home. Okay? Okay. Uh, who moved my cheese? Okay. <gasps> Grandpa, you ate the cheese already. Guys, look, maybe it's time to talk about putting Grandpa in a home. I know none of us want to, but maybe it's just time. Maybe it's just is, time. Is that that horrible managerial book? Yes. Oh. Yes. I, they made a video out of it, and we had to watch it. Um, <sighs> you know what? H O M E. That's how you spell home. It should already be popping up. It did pop up. It's the first thing on the screen. Click on that box and it will take you to a bunch of choices, including the regular home. Click on that box. Um, go over here to trailers and more. Maybe that's it. Click on that. Click on that. Oh, no, that's it. Huh. Well, you know what? You are in the kids' settings. Maybe you just can't. Is it PG? Maybe it's PG instead of G, and you're, like, not allowed to see the movie? Because, yeah, I don't see it here. They have Home the TV show on Netflix, but... What? Uh, they did. I don't know. Bella, come over here and find home for Maxwell. Maxwell is homeless. I will name it Netflix. Maxwell is homeless. Um, if yes, you are. You are without home. If you want to know about who moved my cheese. There's a version of Who Moved My Cheese out there, and it's a motion picture, and it's called Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. <laughs> and it's all about this one girl, and she gets to the finals by singing a routine, but then, like, she vomits. So she, so uh, the next year, she decides, oh, you know what we need to do? The exact same thing as before. <laughs> We need to do the exact same routine again. And then there's the one person who's like, maybe we should do a new routine. No, this was successful. This was successful once. We're going to keep doing it then. Basically, Hang Pitch on. Perfect is just a female acapella who moved my cheese. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> uh, here's a kid's book. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? They don't, actually. They just draw a dick on the first dinosaur that passes out. <laughs> that's, that's what dinosaurs do. Um, this is a humor book. Is everyone hanging out without me? Yes, everyone secretly hates you. Mm -hmm. Everyone should know that. Yes, Maxwell! Okay, first off, get your feet off of that mask. Get your feet off of that mask. Secondly, yes, come over here and tell Bunny a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? I'm, I'm rubbing cat. Oh! You, that was a good joke, Maxwell. That was a good joke. And I'm pretty sure that nobody has ever heard that joke before, so thank you I for that. Have, I, I have not heard that before, no. Yeah. Um. Here's a Here's another kid's book. Should I share my ice cream? No. You know what? You're allowed to have your own treat without having to share it with everyone else in the house. I'm allowed <laughs> to have my own things. 
I'm allowed to have treats for me. What about dad? Mm -hmm. Dad can have something without sharing it with all of the other people in the house. (laughs) Um, The lady or the tiger? What's the difference? They're both going to eat you alive. Huh? 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 You know what I'm saying, buddy. You know. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just picturing you in the tux with the slick back hair and maybe a cigarette in your hand and a drink in the other. That's how I pictured that joke. Nice. Is Paris burning? Well, it all depends. If what you're asking is, does Paris Hilton have herpes? Then the answer is yes. Yes, she does. Paris (laughs) is burning. And itchy. And Amber Sweet is addicted to the knife. Uh, Addicted to the knife? Thank you. (laughs) Color is your parachute. Okay. First off, the color doesn't matter as long as it works. Secondly, you're worrying about the wrong thing. Like Titanic is going down and you're like, could I get a blue life raft? You know, I don't want to say Asperger's, so I'm not going to say Asperger's, but just know I'm kind of silently thinking Asperger's. <laughs> what is Scientology? Easy bullshit next. Uh, I know why the caged bird sings. Well, so do I, but you don't see me making a big bucket to do about it. Like, I'm trying to be all, like, cool about it, you know? hmm Where did I come from? I know exactly where you came from. You came from the bathroom, and I didn't hear any water running in there after you flushed. Dude, go back and wash your hands, because that's gross. <laughs> that is really gross. This one's a short one, but I'm really proud of it. Stephen King's It. Uh-huh. So, don't let him tag you guys. No. Don't let him tag you. No. Because Stephen King's it. And I'm not clear on the rules. Is it tag? Is it freeze tag? Is I don't it know, but no TV tag. TV tag. Backs. Yeah, no tag backs. Always no tag backs. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Can you keep a secret? No. No, 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 no. Hell no, I cannot. Han Solo dies, Vader is Luke's father, Hedwig dies, the talking cat from Nine Lives is actually Kaiser Soze, everyone dies in Rogue One, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 ends with a crazy-ass fake-out, and Jesus dies at the end of the Bible, the end. (laughs) So yeah, I can't keep a secret. Uh, This is a uh, Nicholas Sparks book, The Longest Ride, easy. Bruno San Martino, he held the belt for 2,803 days, and that's a record. Yes. Now, the most rides is a tie between Ric Flair and John Cena. They just keep giving John Cena the belt. They're like, hey, John Cena, you want to have the belt today? Sure. Okay. You're the champion now. So it's really just kind of sad. Um, Stephen King's The Wastelands. Wow. I had no idea Stephen King wrote a book about Florida. (laughs) Proof of heaven. Easy. A child smile. Just kidding. There is no proof because once you're dead, you stay dead. <laughs> well, I don't know, Bill. Out there on that field today, I saw a woman dressed in white floating above the dunes. Maybe it's just fatigue or maybe it's the indignities of war or maybe it's something else. Let's see. But, what do you do but- to- with new studies saying that it may be possible that when you when you die and when you are dying, your brain releases DMT. Yeah. We could get heaven for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. And in uh, relative time, if it's DMT, that would be that would be like oh a hundred, hundred and fifty years. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is another kid's book. What do you do with an idea? Easy. I get really excited about it for a few days and then quickly forget about it without act- acting upon it. Thank you for asking. 
And finally, 13 reasons why. I don't see why I need to answer this because that's a lot of reasons and it's kind of a pain in the ass. But if I have to, here you go. Number one, because. Number two, I just felt like it. Number three, I was drunk at the time. Number four, because everyone else was doing it and I just decided to join in. Number five, I saw someone on TV doing it. Number six, the YouTube tutorial made it seem so easy. Number seven, first time for everything, right? Number eight, I don't have to tell you why. How about that? Number <laughs> nine, because dad told me I could. Number 10, because honestly, I stopped giving a crap a long time ago. Number 11, mm. number two, my dog told me to do it. And finally, the 13th reason why I did it to impress Jody Foster. <laughs> And that is it for notes from the bookstore this week. And remember, boys and girls and gender potpourris, you too can save 10% on all of your purchases. And all you have to do is buy 10% less crap. <laughs> That's all you have to do. And you save 10% by buying 10% less stuff. Mm, that is a point. Yeah. And cut. <laughs> <laughs>